morning students how are you all i hope you all are fine and you all are doing good at your paces plus you all are revising your concepts okay so how are you all you all are fine very good okay students so today is a new day and a new start so let's start our day with a very first subject which is english so this is your english book child centric english perfection toolkit one of two in our previous session we had completed our writing session okay so today we are back to your english book so let's open your book yeah okay so you have to come on page number 6 okay i told you that this worksheet is divided in two halves right the first half we i introduced you in the previous session and today we are doing the second half okay so i want your all focus should be here on screen fine okay let me hide the camera first okay i am watching you you have to look at here on screen fine okay so students as you know that i introduced you the a words right the a letter words these are the three letter words right so first of all we do a recap a quick recap of those words then what we will do we cover the second half of this page there are the sentences given to you all so you have to read those sentences okay and this is the very first time when you start reading sentence so it is not expected that you all read it properly but parents it's a request to you all that you have to help our kids while reading those sentence and uh, if you read it with phonics sound so that is beneficial for you all okay so chalo let's have a recap of our previous session we will revise those words first and then we will come to our today session okay so what is written over here you don't have to see the pictures now now without pictures you have to try to read it so what is this this is b a g b a r what it is b a r okay now read the next word what it is k a p k a r what is written over here it's k a p k a r okay so you have to do practice of your phonic sounds next this is k a t c a t what is written over here c a t next here you have to come and read this d b for d d will give you the sound d d a d d a d what is written over here d a d right okay come down come down to the next lane what is written over here this is f a n f a n right f a n f a n read it with phonic sound this is j j will give you the sound j j j h a d j j right so j is the sound j a m j a m j a m j a m right okay who will read this word who will read this word the bleen will read this word okay the bleen what is written over here it's p p p a n p a n what is written over here p a n right the next word this is r a t r a t r a t r a t right okay so let's come towards our today class okay the we have to do this page right the second half of this page we have to cover today so there are some guidelines for us first of all we will read it and then we will come to our today topic fine the first thing which is written over here is it is not expected that all children can read the sentence above on their own jaise ki maine aapko starting of the session mein bataya that this is the very first time that students are going to read the sentence hai na to we are not expected ki sare bacche jo hai wo acche se isko read kar paaye sentence reading acche se kar paaye right so 
parents it's a request to you all that you have to help our kids at each step okay jab wo read kar rahe hain to you have to be there to guide our kids that how you have to pronounce that particular word and if you uh, want my guidance so you can contact me any time okay the second thing is read the sentence aloud with the children so aapko bhi sentence read karna hai students ke sath or loudly discuss and ask few questions and related to do, uh, those sentences or you can say this para you have to ask few questions to our kids like what is uh, happening there what is there in this passage right so you can ask our kids because jab aap questioning karte ho to kya hota hai students jo hai wo concentrate करते हैं स्टोरी पे ठीक है आप कोई स्टोरी स्टूडेंट्स को सुना रहे हो है ना और अगर आप बीच में क्वेश्चनिंग करोगे तो स्टूडेंट अटेंटिव रहता है दैट यस माय मम्मा विल वन आस्क मी फ्यू क्वेश्चंस तो मुझे ध्यान से सुनना है बिकॉज दे वांट कि अगर मैं सही आंसर दूंगा तो मम्मा विल अप्रिशिएट मी ओके तो आपको भी स्टूडेंट्स के साथ बीच बीच में क्वेश्चनिंग करनी है अच्छा ये था कैसी कैट थी कैट शुड भी फैट कैट का क्या कलर था ठीक है तो आप क्वेश्चनिंग करते हो तो बच्चे का इंटरेस्ट डेवलप होता है और वो अटेंटिवली सुनेगा आपकी बात को ओके एंड व्हेन यू फाइंड कि बच्चा सही आंसर दे रहे ही और शी विल गिव यू दिस राइट आंसर ओके सो यू हैव टू अप्रिशिएट एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम ताकि उसका इंटरेस्ट और डिवेलप हो वो और मोटिवेटेड हो टू वर्ड्स his or her work fine okay after that let the children pretend to be cat to be cat and say meow because here in this passage we are talking about cat see there is a picture of cat okay so you have to let our kids to pretend like cat hai na because students kuch bhi dekhte so they will they have their own story jo wo aapse share karte to aapko unko karne dena because it will um, uh, increasing their interest hai na because agar unko interest hai tabhi wo aapse share kar rahe hain apne thoughts apne ideas apne experiences so you don't have to stop at that particular time to our kids ki nahi pehle aap meri baat suno no you have to involve our kids fine okay students uh now we will start from here first of all you don't have to read it first of all you have to see what is there in this uh worksheet there is a picture of a cat how is the cat what is he uh, he or she doing she is sitting on a mat yeah right okay she is fat or thin she is a fat cat very fat what's the color Ma'am, yellow. Yes, the cat is fat and she is having yellow color, right? Okay, let's start reading. Okay, let's. Uh, we will find what's what's there. Fine. So we have to start from here. Okay, you must have pencil in your hands. Whenever you start reading, so आपको आपके पास pencil होनी चाहिए. Fine. And you have to move your pencil while reading the sentence. Okay, जहाँ पर भी आप हो, like if you start from here, so your pencil should be here on that word. Fine. If you move to the next word, so your pencil also move towards the next word. Okay. So start from here. What is written over here? This is the. T H E the. This is the sight word. Okay. कुछ आपके ऐसे words होते हैं sight words like the, but, right? Just like these words that this ये ऐसे words होते हैं जिनमें आपकी phonic sounds नहीं यूज होती right because these words are repeated you have to see on repeated basis in any sentences ठीक है so these are the sight words जहाँ पे आपकी phonic sounds work नहीं करती so you have to pronounce in this way find the for active fat the active cat the fat cat Okay, next. Per at a pat, you all have to do it with phonics sound. Per at a pat, her as has a cat. Pat के पास क्या है? Pat has a cat. Pat is the name of a person. Okay, like your name is Arav. आपको कोई nickname भी हो सकता है ना? Like Sanvi. Sanvi is your name. So ऐसे ही एक person है. उसका name क्या है? Pat. तो पैट के पास क्या है पैट हैज अ कैट नेक्स्ट द अगेन दिस इज अ साइट वर्ड द 
को एट अ कैट इज को एट अ फैट कैट क्या है फैट है कैट इज फैट The next line is the for at a fat, co at a cat, so at a sad. Now you have to read the whole sentence. The fat cat said that means कि जो fat cat है वो क्या है बैठी हुई है, right? So students, as you see, this word the the is coming frequently, है ना? So these are the side words. That means कि आप एक इन words को बार बार देखते हो, ठीक है? तो आपको उनकी sound, आपको pronounce करना आ जाता है, ठीक है? So these are the side words जो आपको sentences में, paragraph में बार बार देखने को मिलते हैं. Fine? Come here. Eat it. So at a sat on a यहाँ पे किसकी बात हो रही है कैट के बारे में कैट कहाँ बैठी है इट्स ऑन अ मैट कहाँ पर बैठी है वो मैट के ऊपर बैठी है राइट ओके आई टी इट सेट ऑन अ हैट हैट नाउ वेयर ही ही इज सिटिंग सिटिंग ऑन अ हैट इट्स ऑन अ हैट फुल स्टॉप Now, when there is a full stop, so you have to wait for some time. Okay? Next, come to the next line. Again, you have to start from here. Eat it. So, at a set on a rat. Now, it's set on a rat. The for at a fat. Go at a cat. Set. The fat cat. Set. So at a set, set, set. That means जो fat cat है, वो बैठी ही हुई है और बैठी रहेगी, right? So students, in this passage we are talking about this cat. This cat is very fat. And who has that cat? The boy named Pat, right? So you have to read whole passage, okay? And now I will ask few questions with you. Okay, so you have to give me the answers. So tell me, how's the cat? Cat is thin or fat? Cat kaisi thi? The cat is fat. Cat kaisi thi? Fat thi, right? And where is the cat set? Cat is set on a mat. See, this cat is set on a mat, right? Okay, tell me, tell me, who has a cat? Ma'am, Pat. Yes, Pat has a cat. Very nice, students. Okay, students. Now you have uh, you see that there are two questions, है ना? आपको two questions given है, right? So you have to answer those questions. Uh, okay. So first of all, you have to read it, and there are some options given to you. Okay. So you have to put a tick on the right option. Fine. चलो, let's start reading the first question. For at a Pat. हो एज हैज अ पैट हैज अ पैट के पास क्या था फर्स्ट कैट ब एट अ बैट हो एम हैम वॉट इज द राइट आंसर कैट पैट के पास क्या थी कैट थी सो द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज राइट सो यू हैव टू पुट अ टेक ऑन द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन ओके नाउ कम ओवर हेयर द क एट अ कैट Is जो cat थी वो कैसी थी? The cat is sad. Is she sad? No. Mad. She is mad. No. Fat. Yes, she is fat. So you have to put a tick over here. Okay. So students, this is your today task for your English subject, and you have to complete it. When you complete it, so you have to give me the picture of this work okay as well as you have to share the recording when you read the whole passage fine and wherever you find any doubt you can ask me now come towards your creative subject right so now you have to open your drawing files you have the drawing files 
you must have the drawing files in your stationeries okay so you have to open that drawing file and then here on top you have to write the date okay here on top you have to mention the date okay so in the previous session i'll introduced you a new shape which is triangle so with the help of a triangle we will draw something okay fine students okay so today we are making a hut what we are making today we are making a small size hut okay with the help of our triangles so what up let's say you have to bring out your pencil fine and on top here you have to mention the day and the middle of the sheet you have to write the caption her the uh, hut h for her h aapko kya sound deta hai her u aapko sound deta hai a uh, t aapko sound deta hai the c when you are doing creative you are revising your phonics sound right okay so let's make a triangle first you have to draw a triangle like this then you have to make a straight line how you have to make a line you have to make a straight line wait 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 make a straight line like this okay and here also you have to make a straight line like this okay and then you have to join both of the lines fine so this is your small hut so you have to draw this then what we will do we fill color in our hut right okay i am waiting for you all till then you have to complete this drawing then we will do coloring okay students i hope so that you have full color in Uh, that you have draw this art sheet. Now one more thing, you can make a circle in between, right? आप यहाँ पर middle में triangle के middle में आप एक circle भी बना सकते हैं. Fine. Now it's complete. Now what we will do? We do coloring. So first of all, I am picking yellow color and doing yellow color in my small circle. Fine. After that, what you have to do? You have to pick any of your favorite color. Okay, आप कोई भी अपना favorite color use कर सकते हो. It is not uh, as per it is not mandatory that you have to take the same color. Okay, so my favorite color is um, red. So I am picking red color and do it here. Fine. You can pick any of your favorite color. Tell me, tell me, what is your favorite color? Yes, Jasmine. Which is your favorite color, ma'am? Pink. Okay. What? Uh, what else? Tell me your favorite color, ma'am. My is blue. Very good. Okay. So now I'm taking the blue color and I'm filling my blue color in this square. Right, so see, this is my small hut. You also have to draw a hut just similar to it, and then you have to do coloring. You can pick any of your favorite color. Fine, students. And the thing which I am repeating again and again is that you have to do coloring in the same direction. Okay, don't take out color out uh, color out of your image. Okay, आपको बाहर नहीं करना है color image के अंदर ही आपको coloring करनी है. Fine. so this is your today creative task i'm giving you some time to complete it then we will do our second subject
Okay, students. So this in this video we had covered our English subject as well as our creative subject. For the second subject, you have to see the second video. Fine. That's it. Have a good day. Bye bye.